Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In the previous video, I talked about S Arima models where we capture seasonality in the Arima models by including another component uh, in the Arima models which captures uh, the seasonal part of uh, a time series. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to use uh, the autocorrelation function and uh, partial autocorrelation functions to select uh, P and Q for the non-seasonal component of an Arima model and P and Q for the seasonal component of uh, an Arima model. The concepts uh, here are almost identical to the concepts uh, that we learned uh, in the usual uh, Arima models. So the seasonal part of an AR or an MA model will be seen in the seasonal lag of uh, the partial autocorrelation function and uh, the autocorrelation function. And here are two examples. We are looking here at uh, monthly data. So our M is uh, 12. Uh, these are our ACF and uh, PACF uh, graphs. If we see our PACF uh, decaying exponentially at uh, seasonal lags, for example, we may have uh, lag 12 here, lag 24th here, lag 36 here, and lag 48 here, and then we have uh, uh, some in between uh, lags here as well. So see here the PACF is uh, exponentially decaying uh, at the regular frequencies of uh, 12, 24, 36, 48 because our data is monthly. That is uh, the seasonal lags are exponentially decaying. And then we have a significant spike uh, in the ACF at lag 12 and we don't have any other significant uh, spike. So in this case, we'll choose ARIMA 000001 model. That is, we'll choose Q equals 1 in this case. So if our PACF is exponentially decaying at the seasonal lags, and then we have a statistically significant uh, spike at uh, a seasonal lag and uh, nothing beyond, we'll choose uh, the seasonal component of uh, an ARIMA model. So in this case, we are choosing MA1 for the seasonal component. On the other hand, if our ACF is exponentially decaying at regular lags, at lag 12, 24, 36, and 48, and then we have uh, some lags in between, and then we have uh, a significant spike at uh, say lag 12, in the PACF and uh, nothing beyond, we'll choose P equals 1. That is, we'll choose ARIMA 000, the AR process for uh, the seasonal component will be 1 and we'll choose uh, this model. So in uh, uh, selecting an appropriate seasonal order of the seasonal ARIMA model, we restrict our attention to the seasonal lags. That is, we only care about how these seasonal lags are uh, behaving. Again, we look at the ACF and PACF and we look at uh, either one of them is exponentially decaying at uh, the seasonal lags and then we have a statistically significant spike uh, at a seasonal lag uh, and uh, nothing beyond and hence we choose uh, the order of uh, this uppercase P and uh, the uppercase uh, Q. The modeling procedure is almost uh, identical for non-seasonal data except that we need to select uh, seasonal AR and MA terms as well as uh, the non-seasonal part of the model P and Q and again we'll choose the non-seasonal part of uh, ARIMA model that is P and Q in the usual fashion by looking at the non-seasonal uh, ACF and PACF that is how ACF and PACF are behaving uh, in this part of uh, the ACF rather than uh, at uh, these uh, seasonal lags. In the case of uh, this non-seasonal component, we'll pay more attention to uh, these lags and uh, choose uh, P and uh, Q for the non-seasonal component uh, uh, based on the usual uh, ACF and PACF as I showed you in some of my previous videos. So this is how you work with the SRIMA or seasonal RIMA models by capturing seasonality in the RIMA model. You again look at uh, the PACF and uh, ACF, but uh, look at uh, the correlation coefficients at uh, the seasonal lags and see how those seasonal lags are behaving uh, in the ACF and the PACF and then choose uh, an appropriate uh, order of uh, the AR process and the MA process for the seasonal component. 
So this is how you work with the seasonal arima models. In the next video, I'll show you an example of uh, S-Arima or seasonal arima models in R.